Hi, how are you doing today? Good. I want to begin a series of, of what we can learn from. Series. You'd be surprised at the lessons you can learn from things you never thought could teach you a lesson. But everything can teach us a lesson if we would just pay attention to be observant because everything has a lesson in it. Everything. For instance, a moth. M-O-T-H. What can we learn from a moth? Listen to this little story right here. This actually happened to me. And I thought I would write about it. So listen. A memory to share with you some time ago. Sitting at my desk and noticing above me a moth struggling to find the exit. Or as others would say, a way back out. <laughs> Consider the moth struggle as a metaphor for our spiritual journey. Just as the moth seeks, the, seeks life and warmth outside, we too should strive for spiritual growth and the warmth of God's presence rather than remain in the coldness of our spiritual dilemmas. Think about that. The moth instinctively knows his survival depends on the sun's warmth, not the cold's lack of heat. Please think of the moth as a character and story. It is, it is experiencing a barrier to enjoying what it wants, creating a fair amount of tension within it. Think about if you were trapped somewhere, how much tension would be in your body. However, the moth cannot comprehend the barrier of experiencing warmth versus cold. The glass window produces conflict rather than a solution to his problem. Right, right. Windows serves Windows serves two primary functions in a plot, you know, in a story, but symbolizes what is happening to a character. So there's two things it symbolizes, a plot and then what is happening to the character. Windows also serve as a visual pattern to reveal what the character wants. Symbolically, windows express the veil or architectural par par parallel of the veil, which performs the dual nature as a shield, protecting the character from outside forces in the outside world from the character. Remember, the essence of our Christian life is to, to desire God's presence. In his presence, we find the warmth of his love and protection. As Smith noted in his book, and he beautifully puts it, our beliefs and commitments shape our existence, not just our thoughts or ideas. Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to say it again to you. Our beliefs, what you believe, and your commitments, they shape your existence, not just your thoughts. Or ideas. So think about that. What you believe about yourself, about your commitment to God and to to your to others, it's going to shape your existence. So let's have good positive thoughts and think about the moth. How would you feel if you were trapped somewhere when you knew you should be on the outside, not on the inside? So praise God, bountiful blessings. I will talk to you later. I pray that you learned this valuable lesson also. So what can we learn from a mom? We just learned it. Bye.